You are the director of the Hamilton Project. I am the director of economic policy studies at AEI. Uh, obviously, we do public policy for a living. Um, uh, these data are absolutely necessary to understand public policy, to understand how policy interacts with the economy, to understand how policy uh, uh, interacts with individual people and individual families. I wonder if you could say a few words about uh, how the data are used in, in policy. Right. So I agree. This is our bread and butter as policy analysts that we have to use these data to try to understand the world around us. And so uh, we did a whole chapter on this and we had to really keep it tight to um, cut down that chapter because uh, we had just example after example after example of really important work uh, done. I'll talk about a few of my favorites. So one is that you may recall, I think you were still in uh, junior high when President Clinton signed the welfare reform bill. Uh, but, you know, so we switched to very pro-work policies, a big EITC expansion and welfare reform. And uh, one of the graphs that we include in this document looks at well, what happened in the short run in terms of uh, did women go to work after the introduction of these pro-work policies. And you absolutely see that. There's a large spike in that. But then a concern that we have, have now, and I think our colleague Nick Eberstadt has been particularly on the forefront of this, is we're seeing labor force participation rates come back down, both among man, men and among, among women. And so being able to track those things over time, uh, you know, we can use sort of clever research techniques to tease out cause and effect. But, you know, overall, we're able to look at this and understand sort of this important part of the economy. Absolutely. Um, uh, other big things, too, that people talk about, um, you know, people are concerned about family breakdown. Absolutely. People are concerned about what happened to unemployed workers during the Great Recession. People are concerned uh, about uh, the rise of food stamp rolls. People are concerned about so many things. It would be impossible to be concerned about these things if the government wasn't keeping track of beneficiary roles, if the government wasn't keeping track of statistics about the labor market, if the government wasn't keeping track uh, about uh, the, the basic ways that these policies interact with uh, people in the economy, uh, with the economy at large. Uh, we, just, we, we, we just wouldn't be, we wouldn't know anything. That's right. Then we would be forced to, just like James Madison, you know, warned us. We would have to, you know, debate based on assertions and conjectures instead, instead of facts. Yes. <laughs> you know, we always like to quote uh, Daniel Patrick Moynihan, uh, who liked to say everyone's entitled to his own opinion, but not to his own facts. And I think that these government statistics really help us have some common language. You and I can debate all day about what, you know, what the facts mean mm -hmm. or what the causes are the effects, and I enjoy doing that. But nonetheless, we can both agree that these are facts.